Welcome to Creative Writing Series video number three, the writing process. How the writing process works. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's all about the process. No problem. We take it a step at a time. Please make certain that you have already viewed videos one and two. Very important at this stage to note is it is expected of grade four learners and upwards to get to know, be able to follow and use the writing process when doing any type of creative writing. This is for life. Everything starts with a plan. The house plan before the house is built. The car design before the car can be built. The writing process is no different. F number one, plan. Number two, draft. Number three, revise. Number four, edit. Number five, publish. This design is used all across the world with a few exceptions here and there, but basically it remains the same kind of design. Let's enlarge to have a closer look. One, plan. It's the pre-write stage. Think, ask, discuss, make notes, draw word webs and mind maps. Any of these actions or a combination of them. Step two in the writing process. Draft, write your first effort in paragraphs from start to finish. All the paragraphs. Step three, revise, improve the text, add more descriptive words, delete unwanted words and the repetition, chop long sentences, write different starting words, check sentence order and structure. Any one or a combination of these actions you will take. Step four of the writing process, edit, check your spelling, your grammar and punctuation. Step five of the writing process, publish. Rewrite the complete essay only when it is perfect without mistakes, so you can submit it for marking. With this page, we are still in the planning phase. It's the pre-write phase when we are thinking, making notes and drawing word webs. We are going to find the necessary vocabulary. We find keywords, we write keywords and key phrases now let's say, for instance, we are doing a day at the zoo. First paragraph will be somehow a layout of who, family and I. Where did we go? Pretoria Zoo. When did this happen? Last December. What did I take along with me? Cell phone and camera. We go to the second paragraph. Birds, flamingos, let's say I group all the birds together. Parrots, cockatoos and colorful. Normally those cages in a zoo are together. The next place I will visit would be the herbivores, zebras, elephants, antelope and giraffes. After that, I need to find a time to have something to refresh with. Lunch, we ate burgers at a restaurant. Number five, primates are the apes. The monkeys, the gorillas, and the lemurs are normally in that same area. Paragraph six, carnivores, those animals that eat meat to survive. Lions, tiger, leopard, cheetahs, time to go home. So I have stacks of photos, I'm very tired, and we have a time, we can set a time when you leave, and you can finish by saying what time you arrived at home. This is not yet a mind map. It is somewhere in between a mind map and a word web. Mind maps use keywords or key phrases only. Don't worry too much about the frames made here. That will only come in at the end when you tidy up your act. Okay, we've got our words now. First paragraph, paragraph one. My family and I, Pretoria, Sunday, 18 December, camera, cell phone, online tickets. 
This is where I write the who, the what, the when, the where, and the how of my essay. Second paragraph, we visited the birds. Flamingos, pink and white, dancing, parrots, cockatoos, lorikeets, colorful, cute, inquisitive. I have to write some descriptive words there too. I can still add later on, but this is a way to make a start. Snacks mid-morning, cold drinks, chips, and we were reminded not to feed the animals. After that, we went to the herbivores, stripy zebras, different kinds of antelope, depressed elephants, huge rhinos, and tall giraffes with a baby, primates, gorillas, lemurs swinging, monkeys playing. Midday we had lunch. Dad bought us burgers and hot dogs at the restaurant. Also add some cold things here. Carnivores was the only the second last of our visit here. Cheetah, lion, hyenas, tiger, leopard, wild dogs. In the end, tired, shoeless, maybe I took off my shoes. I have stacks of photos. We left at four o'clock. We arrived home safely at five o'clock. Amazing day. I learned so much. This is the way to finish it. It's very important to get to know the steps off by heart. First, plan. Second, draft. Third, revise. Fourth, edit. And fifth, publish. So we're in step two now. Write your first effort in paragraphs from start to finish. Write in pen so you can edit and revise visibly with a sharp pencil. It will not look sloppy. Do not ever write the first draft in pencil. You will rub out too much and at some stage you will have nothing or little to show for your time. Here's our first paragraph. It was on 18 December 2022. My family and I went to the Pretoria Zoo. It was a Sunday. We went there with cameras and cell phones. We were not allowed to take snacks into the zoo grounds. My dad bought tickets online so we didn't have to queue outside the zoo. The first area we visited, that's my second paragraph, where the birds were, we saw flamingos, the flamingos in their pink and white feathers. They were dancing on one leg, parrots and cockatoos and lorikeets are of the same bird family. The cockatoo are the biggest of the three. They look so stylishly dressed. The lorikeets are the cutest, most inquisitive, colorful little birdies. By this time it was 9.30 and we bought snacks at the kiosk. We bought a mix of cold drinks and chips. We were reminded not to feed the animals. Step 3. Revise. Remember, you are required to know these steps off by heart. 1 plan, 2, draft, 3, revise, 4, edit, and 5, publish. So we're in step 3 now. Imagine you are a teacher now, you're looking at a kid's work, and you have to find a way to tell this kid how to make it much better. So now this is a kind of approach you will have. Improve the text, make it better, add more descriptive words, delete unwanted words and repetition, chop long sentences, Write different starting words, check sentence order and structure. Don't rub out your work ever. Here's the first paragraph you've written. It was on 18 December 2022. My family and I went to the Pretoria Zoo. It was a Sunday. We went there with cameras and cell phones. We were not allowed to take snacks into the zoo grounds. My dad bought tickets online so we didn't have to queue outside the zoo. Now don't stress up and don't feel too much of uh, down, putting yourself down. All writers go through this process. Everyone does the same thing. It is not 100% when you start off. So let's relook really at it. 
you will take out the it was. A way of saying it, we will say on, and then the Sunday moves forward, 18 December 2022. No full stop there. My family and I, that's the right order. My family and I always the other person or people before you. And I went to the Pretoria Zoo with cameras and cell phones. Full stop for the first time. My dad bought tickets online so we didn't have to queue outside the zoo. Full stop. That's my first paragraph. It's enough. I don't have to add more. Whatever else comes after this will be my next paragraph. We continue with a revision of to revise our stuff. Improve the text, add more descriptive words, delete unwanted words and repetition, chop long sentences, write different starting words, check sentence order and structure. So here's my paragraph two. What I've written was the first area we visited was where the birds were. We saw the flamingos in their pink and white feathers. They were dancing on one leg, parrots and cockatoos. And Lordy Keats are of the same bird family. The cockatoo are the biggest of the three. They look so stylishly dressed. The Lordy Keats are the cutest, most inquisitive, colorful little birdies. Let's see how to improve this. Once inside, we visited the bird area first. You can add this part. You can change it. It's your essay, remember. But this is one way of making it flow from paragraph one to paragraph two. We saw the flamingos in their pink and white feathers. What I've taken out here is not suggested that you keep it. Standing on one leg. Full stop there. Parrots, comma, cockatoo, small letter. And continue, no full stop there. And lorikeets are of the same bird family. The cockatoo are the biggest of the three. And they look so stylishly dressed. The lorry kids are the cutest, comma, most inquisitive, comma, colorful, comma, little birdies. That's it. Step four, edit. Check your spelling, your grammar, and your punctuation. At this point in time, most of the work has been done. You have finished all five paragraphs. I've given you only two examples. We'll talk about what you need to do after this. If you did a good job at revising, then editing is just a walk in the park. Just touch up and confirm. Maybe you left a letter out. Maybe you misspelled somebody's name that you added in the essay. Maybe you forgot a full stop or there was an exclamation mark missing. You will add it here now. You should now be ready to publish, rewrite so you can submit your work. Step five, I've finished revising, I've finished editing, and now I'm ready to publish my work. What is publishing? Rewrite it. The complete essay, only when it is perfect, without mistakes. Think about publishing this way. If you walk into a bookshop, what do you expect to find? Books with errors, books with scratch out marks, or perfectly correctly written texts. So this is a kind of effort you must copy when you are publishing your work. So, rewrite your improved text now and keep it error free. If you should decide to use someone else's work, adapt it. Even this essay example that you were given here in this slideshow. Find and replace names, places, activities, events, descriptive words, and dates to give it your own flavor. Idea one for an activity after this slideshow. Take one or two of your past creative writing projects and do steps three, the revise, and step four, edit with it. Remember, write in pen and revise and edit in pencil. Do not ever erase your work. You will have nothing to show for your time. Idea number two, share what you have learned and arrange to revise and edit each other's work. Some of these activities you can still do on your own at home in your free time 
It doesn't have to happen in class, but the more you do it, the better you will become at it. Why? Going from here to high school, university and workplace, you will need the input of others. Even in a job place one day, you will have to submit what you've done to somebody who will look it over and tell you good or bad or make changes here and there. And this is a kind of work effort we must learn to apply. You have been watching Creative Writing Series number three, the writing process. Make sure you draw a mind map and follow the writing process next time you write an essay, character sketch or a letter. Thanks for viewing, reading, drawing and writing along. Graphics, some online images, text, presentation and narration by Dirk JJ Kutsia. Please like and subscribe at the bottom of the video so I can keep you updated on new videos. See you in the next video about mind maps and the writing process. Here is a link. I will also post it in the comments down below so you can click right on it and decide where to go from there. Thank you so much.